Now, these days, it's not just women wanting to look fresher and healthier for longer. Thanks to the eternal youth of Hollywood A-listers like Tom Cruise and Brad Pitt, men are also visiting beauty and health specialists like our next guest. Welcome back to the Harvey Norman Lounge, Dr. Francis Pitsilis, and good morning. Oh. Are you really seeing more men? We are, and um, the international figures tell us that the number of men over the last 10 years have tripled. Oh, that's interesting. Yes. What are the, the common reasons they're coming to see you? They want to look approachable, so they, they often don't like that frown line that makes them look angry. Um, they want to look younger because sometimes it's a job issue remaining in work. Um, they don't care that much about fluffery, but they'll sometimes also talk about stress resilience as well. It's mm, interesting. Yeah. Who would have thought that Kiwi men would be interested in these kind of things? But mm. um, how can you help with those kind of issues? Well, with the general health issues, it's always going to be help them get back to sleep, mm. diet, correcting imbalances, and stress management and helping with that, with, with that. But we can, you know, that's a good foundation to then helping them look better from the inside. And what about appearance medicine? Uh, what are the most common complaints there? The common complaints are going to be that frown line and looking approachable in business. The person that looks more approachable gets the deal, gets the job, um, gets on better with people. So it's often the frown line. And sometimes you've got older and younger men coming along and saying that, that they don't look, look masculine enough. Um, that's right. So. Um, they just want to look more manly as they age, or sometimes even young men don't think they look you know, masculine enough. And this is where dermal fillers come in to help define the jawline a lot better, um, as well as the frown lines. Um, so they're the main areas. They don't care so much about skin texture and ageing, but we will often approach it in the clinic because we don't want um, you know, sun damage and skin cancers to develop. I do quite like a man with the, the, the wrinkles, but um, if yeah. they're over the top, what would you do with those? The wrinkles? Mm. Well, look, I think men like to keep their crow's feet. You know, the, the, you don't want to make a man look too feminine. Um, and men don't want too many details. They'll just, right, go for it. Whereas women want to know everything about what they're going to have done. Mm. So men are very straightforward. And what about the old sagging face? Yeah, well, with the sagging face, you've got to be very, very careful with dermal fillers. There are other treatments like light-based treatments that can tighten the skin. Um, yeah, so this is someone who's young and um, they had dermal fillers to help them look a bit more improved. Mm. Um, very often, athletes will lose a lot of their facial fat and look quite gaunt. Um, and, and that type of um, outcome makes them look a, a lot better. And what about uh, blotchy skin, that sort of red mm. look? The red and blotchy look, you use light-based therapies um, and very gentle laser that's painless. So you can combine those depending on the skin colour. So there's lo lots of ranges for, for men to have done. And, and then you've got some people who are looking at their body, right? So we've now got technologies that will get rid of those muffin tops and those just small extra little bits in normal weight people. So you can have it frozen off or you could have it heated off. <laughs> really? Yes. So um, is that a new thing? Because I haven't heard about that before. Well, the heating and freezing has been around for a few years. Um, the freezing is where your fat is sucked into a clamp. Oh, yes, there you go. Your fat is suck what? sucked into clamps. Wow. And <laughs> you have to lie there for a time. It's frozen. And then you end up with a block of butter that's frozen. And then it gets massaged. Is that a stomach there that we're looking at? That's someone's stomach. Wow. Uh, yeah, that's an internet photo. That's someone having their upper and their lower abdomen done at the same time. But there are other technologies like um, heating, which is just running the uh, handpiece over the tummy. Um, so you can either freeze the fat or heat the fat and that treatment tightens the skin at the same time. Look, you know, stuff men, I think this would be good for women as well. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> um, women and men, actually. And men want to try and get their six packs, right? Mm. <laughs> and is it, does it hurt? Is it painful at all? Well, the freezing um, can be uncomfortable um, because, of course, your, your tissues are getting frozen. The heating one, um, the one that I've read up on, has um, a, a sensation like a hot stone massage. Mm. 
Yeah. And my last question is, uh, is it affordable? Well, if you compare the sort of costs, when, if we're looking at around $1,000 per area, which I think a lot of people are charging for these sorts of things, mm. if you had to go into liposuction and surgery and have time off work and a little bit more risk, it's definitely more affordable than liposuction. Mm. So we're, we're really talking about small areas in normal weight people. It's not an obesity obesity treatment. Great advice. Thank you so much, Francis. And for more, more ideas and advice, go to Francis' website.